Spiritaneous fixation of ankle fractures possible? And who is the candidate for percutaneous fixation of ankle fractures? Candidates for percutaneous fixation of ankle fractures are patient with diabetes, with peripheral vascular disease, the elderly, patients that are immunosuppressed, and the patients with severe soft tissue compromise may be a candidate for percutaneous fixation of ankle fractures, especially if reduction of the fracture can be obtained in a closed fashion. Precise anatomic reduction of the fibula, the medial malleolus, and the syndesmosis is important in achieving excellent functional outcome after ankle fracture. The talus must be reduced in the mortis and any lateral talus subluxation is an indication for surgery. Open surgery usually utilizes plates and screws, and even with open surgery, the syndesmosis reduction and fixation may be imperfect. There might be malreduction. Open surgery requires dissection of the traumatized soft tissue wound complications and infection may occur, especially in certain groups of patients. Surgery is better than conservative treatment, especially if it is done properly and after the soft tissue condition improves. Sometimes the soft tissue condition does not improve or it takes longer time than usual to improve. And I always thought, if we do fixation of the ankle percutaneously, you may reduce the incidence of infection and soft tissue complications for these patients. For the last several years, I used percutaneous fixation of ankle fracture, starting with the fibula and tried to achieve the fibular length utilizing the currently used landmarks. You can see the landmarks here on the diagram. When you reduce the fibula, look for the Shenton's line and look for the dime sign. Then we use cannulated screws 4.5 or 6.5. We use 6.5 if the bone is very osteoporotic and the canal is wide. We we'll try to preserve the soft tissue envelope and decrease the potential risk of infection. You will pass the guide wire percutaneously across the fibular fracture and use fluoroscopy to confirm a good starting point and good reduction of the fibular fracture. The screw is inserted over the guide wire, and then the screw is passed across the fracture while the fibrillar length is maintained, and the fracture is kept in a reduced position with the manual reduction techniques. After fixing the lateral malleolus, we attempt to fix the medial malleolus. We use reduction clamp applied percutaneously, and the screws are inserted over guard wire percutaneously and that is fluoroscopically guided. Partially threaded cannulated screws are used. Sometimes I use three screws in some cases. Fixing the medial malleolus is not as easy as the lateral malleolus. Sometimes I fix the medial malleolus first if the fibula is comminuted and if I think I'm going to have trouble in obtaining reduction of the fibular fracture and obtaining the length of the fibula. In these cases, fixing the medial malleolus first will help you to obtain the proper length of the fibula. Sometimes you accept a small area of imperfection in the medial malleolus. 
The best cases for the percutaneous screws are the cases that does not have medial malleolar fracture. If there is a medial malleolar fracture present, then you will try not to accept more than two millimeter step off. And if you can obtain the reduction of the medial malleolus, either you open the fracture and reduce it, or you delay opening of the fracture until the soft tissue condition improves significantly. After fixation of the lateral side and the medial side, the syndesmotic injuries are treated with reduction and fixation. The reduction is achieved by a reduction clamp to close and reduce the syndesmosis. The guide wire is used and cannulated screws are inserted over the guide wire and the reduction clamp is removed. Sometimes I use several syndesmotic screws and sometimes I use them converging or crossing each other. I use that for strength. Fluoroscopy is always used to show the appropriate reduction and fixation of the syndesmosis. Here are examples of percutaneous fixation of ankle fractures. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.